Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my winter plans for 2020. Now this stuff always gets me excited because I love modifying the cars so I can try to go faster. To be frank with you guys, I probably don't make the smartest financial decisions, but that's okay. Anyways, we'll get started with the plans that I have for this car, mainly because this car has like the simplest slash the least amount of things that are gonna happen to it. So probably the biggest thing I'll be doing to this car is the brakes and why it's because they are so dang tiny. These are the NA brakes, which if the car was still NA would be perfectly fine, but obviously Obviously, with about three times the horsepower, it needs a little bit more stopping power. On the rear of the car, this car does have turbo brakes, which is super nice. Because big brake kits cost a lot of money, what I'll probably end up doing is actually leave the turbo calipers on the back, and then I'll switch the front to the big brake kit, and that's going to allow me to keep my e-brake which is super important uh, because otherwise that's typically like a three to four hundred dollar add-on depending who you go through because several companies make big brake kits such as alex wilhelm prime mr2 mr2 heaven getting the big brake kit also means i'll probably change out my brake master cylinder and then put a proportioning valve on if you've ever watched any of my other videos you'll know that this thing has traction issues all day long and the way i'm going to fix that is by putting wider tires but because this car over here doesn't have much power yet what i'm going to actually do is take the off this car put them onto this car and then that's going to allow me to go get a square setup for this car with a set of super sticky tires i definitely think that's going to help the car hook other than those two things that car is going to stay the same i had some plans to do some intercooler setups and this and that um but I can't bring myself to do that because of the car behind me. For those who don't know, I've had this car for over four years. I drove it every day. It was my daily driver through college. I mean, everything from sunny weather all the way to snow. I've driven this thing. I have a lot of memories. It's the first car I did a track day in, first car I did an autocross, yada, yada, yada. It's pretty much what I've learned all my motorsports experience in. Needless to say, I have a deep emotional attachment to this car and I've had plans for a while, but they got put off mainly because I started dumping money into that other car. So now that other car is going to get put on the back burner besides the brakes and tires and I'm going to start dumping my money into this. Now I know most people are immediately going to think oh he's going to engine swap it and I do plan on that but not quite yet. I'm a big believer that the chassis should be able to handle the power first. So my goal for this coming winter is to get that ready. So I'm hoping to do things like coilovers, rims, sway bars. I think I'll probably put the big brake kit off mainly because with the amount of power it's making and what I'll be doing with the car um, I don't think you'll necessarily have issues of like brake fade and whatnot, but that is definitely something I'll do down the road. Also, I got to fix the hood. So this car has been in a crash in case you didn't know. Uh, it was like that when I bought it. And what happened was there is this mismatched fender, which I never really cared about. And you ask why? Well, I track the car. I don't care about the looks as long as it functions. But one thing I do have to fix is the hood. Normally the hood just pops up, but because it was crashed, the hinges are bent, so I got to push it over, and then it pops on up. Uh, luckily, that's not too bad of a fix, um, but nonetheless, something that definitely needs to happen. Now, I know there's going to be some questions as to what engine I'm going to put in it. I already have one MR2 with a Honda engine, so I've been asked plenty of times, am I going to K-swap it to GR? And to be frank with you, I'm not really sure yet. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm thinking and what I want from this white car, I wanna be able to have a car that has OE reliability, lots of parts at any automotive parts store. I also want a newer engine and a simple setup. In addition, I'm looking for about 300 wheel horsepower. The obvious choice there is going with the 2GR. It hits every single check mark on that list. Now there's the dark side of me that would love to have another MR2 with a Honda engine, mainly because those K-Series MR2s with turbos are ridiculously fast, like ridiculously fast. And the idea of having a turbo K-Series, you know, pushing four or five, 600 horsepower at whatever, like is very, very enticing. But to be honest with you guys, it goes against everything that I wanted for this car. I really don't know which way I'm gonna go. I mean, if I had to put like numbers on it, I'd probably say 75% of me says 2GR, 25% says K-Swap, but it's such a hard choice because both engines are going to be freaking awesome. Um, it's just a matter of, do I be reasonable and remember that I want a nice reliable car so that I could go and beat up the other one and go extreme with that car? Or do I just have two extremely unreliable cars? <laughs> well guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Other than that, I will uh, see you guys in the next video.